This is day three on five ways over five days. And today we're going to focus on daily mindfulness practice. So many people will talk about mindfulness and there's lots of confusion about what we mean by mindfulness practice in our daily lives. So we're not focused here on formal mindfulness meditation. We're not talking about Zen Buddhist practice of mindfulness. We're talking about mindfulness that you can use every day in your daily life. So many of us walk around and our minds are very full with some of the challenges and worries that are understandable in our daily lives and even more so in the context of COVID-19. So mindful can mean our mind is full or it can also mean that we're mindful to be very much present in the here and now. So I'm going to talk to you about being mindful in the here and now and the practice of just being. So when we talk about mindfulness practice and daily mindfulness practice, I'm going to break it down into easy steps. And we're going to think about it in two ways. So it's what mindfulness is, what we need to do, and how we need to do it. So let's start with what we need to do. So there are three skills. The first one is to observe. And when we observe, we just notice. We notice what it is we're thinking, what it is we're feeling, what it is we're experiencing in a given moment. The second skill that we practice in, in what is to describe. And this is where we put words, we put words on what it is we're feeling, what it is we're experiencing. So I feel sad. I feel frustrated. I'm noticing that sense of frustration in my body. And the final what skill is where we participate, where we throw ourselves into that experience. It is what it is. This is what I'm experiencing at this moment in time. This feeling is real. It's valid. It's here for a reason. I'm just throwing myself in. It's here. That's when we participate. So those are our what skills. We observe, we describe, and we participate. When we think about the how skills, this is kind of what we need to do to make sure that we stay in the moment, that we can practice being mindful. So we practice being, number one, non-judgmental. That we don't overthink things, we don't beat ourselves up over thinking or feeling a certain way. We just notice it, it is what it is, and we don't judge ourselves for having the thought or having the feeling. Or indeed, we don't judge ourselves if we can't stay fully focused on the present all of the time. So it's perfectly understandable and human that our mind will wander. And again, just to remind you, the practice of mindfulness is about noticing and bringing yourself back to the practice. It's not about getting it perfect. So the second part of the how skills are to actually think about being one mindfully in the moment. So when we practice mindfulness, it's really important that we just focus on one thing at a time. So it's not that we want to be trying to spin multiple plates. That's kind of what our busy doing mind always wants us to do. When we're really in our um, mindful state, we're just focusing on one thing at a time. So if I'm washing my hands, I'm just washing my hands. I'm not worrying about anything else. I'm not worrying about what I need to do next or what's on the TV later on. I'm just washing my hands. I'm just in this moment and just here experiencing this moment in time. So the final skill under how is to do what's effective in the moment. So we are going to get urges to, you know, jump from one task to the other. And that's not going to be effective in staying in the here and now and staying in a mindful state. So again, it's about remembering to pull ourselves back to the moment and do what's effective in this moment in time. Okay, so just taking on board some of what we've talked about in terms of the what skills and the how skills, I want to apply those to some of our daily practice that's required of us during COVID-19. So if we think for a moment about the task of washing our hands, that's an activity that we can actually do in a very mindful way. So let's think about what that means. So if we're gonna wash our hands, let's think about the what skills. So we can observe and we can notice the water, 
the temperature of the water, we can notice how it feels on our hands, we can describe it, we can put words on it, we can say the water is hot, we can notice the scent of the soap, we can notice the sensation of the soap and the feeling of it on our hands, um, and notice the water running on our hands. We can notice when we rub our hands together, what skin feels like touching the other skin on our hands. You might notice the crevices um, between your fingers. You might notice the webbing on the back of your hands. You might notice hairs or maybe bumps on your hands that you hadn't noticed before. So we can very much kind of observe and fully be present in the moment in terms of noticing um, and describing what it is we're feeling. And when you're noticing, you're fully participating. If your mind wanders, or if you start getting judgmental, or you tell yourself, I'm not doing this properly, or I'm not doing a good enough job, that's where you catch yourself and you try and pull yourself back. And just bring yourself back into the moment of washing your hands and doing it to the best of your ability and in line with kind of recommended guidelines. So it's about doing what's effective in the moment in a non-judgmental way and being very mindfully present that for now, the only task that you have to do is to wash your hands to keep you and to keep everybody else safe. Another example of daily mindfulness practice is going to be shown to you now in this next clip. So let's imagine that you're joining me on this walk through this lovely woods. So I want you to practice some mindfulness skills and I want you to throw yourself in to fully participating in this mindfulness practice. So we're going to be using observation and we're going to be observing with our senses. So as we walk along, I want you to start by observing what you can see. Perhaps you're noticing the various shades of green and the grass and the leaves. And as we turn the corner, maybe you're noticing the sea in the distance or the sun glistening on the branches. Or maybe you're noticing the shadows on the ground. And now, I want you to focus your attention on what you can hear. Perhaps you're noticing bird sounds. Maybe you're hearing the sea crashing in the background. Now I want you to notice that you're looking at a path and you have choice as to which direction you go. And as we walk along this path, it's a useful metaphor for making wise mind decisions or making choices at this current time. So it's kind of doing what's effective, following the right path.